My name's Eric. I live on a canal boat in London. I've just been named the running canal mayor by a group called Run Some, which is trying to get the city of London to recognize running as a means of transportation and to make accommodations uh, for more runners, showers, things like that. One of the problems of living on a canal boat is they're so cozy inside, sometimes you forget to go out. It's four o'clock, I got about an hour and a half of sunlight, and I'm gonna go run, I'm gonna run to the post office. This is my twice weekly mail run. So come and join me. Let's see what kind of day it is outside, and it is a beautiful, sunny, sunny day. Sunny by London standards, that means it's not raining. Think about it, so this is the first step. There's the uh, London Running Canal Mayor. London Mayor of Canals. We'll, we'll work it out. First thing to get straight is I'm a piss poor runner. I aim for an 11 minute 30 second pace. Some people question whether that's even technically running. But if you can keep up an 11 minute 30 pace for five hours, that's all it takes to run a marathon. 11.30 will get you a sub five hour time at a marathon. And at age 63, that's all I want. The other thing that's worth noting is I always hated running. Much later in life, I've developed a very different relationship with the sport. And I owe a lot to that book, Born to Run, by Chris. McDougal, men's health journalist, war journalist, who uh, got interested in the topic of this book, which is essentially an anthropological theory called the distance running hypothesis. Lovely spot they call Lissom Grove, private moorings in the center of London. This is where some accident of canal development happened and they decided, nope, we're not going that way, we're going this way. Down here where the ambassadors live on Regent's Canal now. The roads are older than the canals. So wherever they put a canal through, they had to build these bridges. Similar architecture, similar styles, similar scarring, if you can believe this. This is from a hundred years of ropes when the horses when horses pulled these boats down from the north of England and the Midlands to bring coal to London. Ropes. And that was iron. That was iron because the brick would have just dissolved from the friction of the ropes connecting the horses to the boats they were pulling. Hard to wrap your mind around. The approach Camden locks the graffiti gets to be pretty fantastic. This was a major, major canal boat this, depot. More evidence of what ropes do over time. Yeah, look at this, multiple grooves worn into this overpass because they were controlling the boats that were dropping off their coal here for hundreds of horse-drawn carts to deliver. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, you can feel a lockdown is sort of coming to an end. People still wearing masks though, that's cool when you see one, but it's never really been big. Islington Tunnel where we leave the canal and I head up to the post office. Made it. Time to mask up and get my mail. I, I gotta admit it, there are some things about the pandemic I'll miss. Top deck of a double-decker bus all to myself. That's one of them.